Shalom. Ko hello, Yahweh Bashan Abishai, Bashan Rakakudash. Double honors into the apostles, double honors into the elder bishops of Connecticut. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Aquaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson in truth. And um, I uh, <clears throat> saw this movie, The Eternals, uh, you know, maybe about a month, uh, a little over a month ago. And I, actually, it was a pretty good movie. Um, as far as entertainment value, but you know, when I watched the movie, the 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 biblical, the spiritual aspects of it were all over the place, you know, from the beginning to the end, and uh, also the the woman worship, you know, because uh, let's put it this way: the the Eternals are the are a representation of the elect of Israel. All right, and um, and these immortals in this movie were clearly going off because they were, you know, going against the power that made them, that make his wishes. And then they were led by a woman, right? That woman being uh, Selma Hayek. She was the leader of the immortals. That's, I guess that's why she wore the crown, the little helmet on her head or whatever. And, um, um, and the, 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 you know what? Let me just grab some scriptures. This The first scripture is Proverbs 8 and 4. And um, let me go to that. And it reads, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. All right. So the Lord, the Lord is dealing with men when it comes to leadership, not women. Because that goes against this order. Because, you know, um, First Timothy, it tells you that. Uh, let's, let's go to it. In the uh, book of Timothy, First Timothy uh, 2, I believe, start at verse 10. And it reads, uh, I just started at 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp the authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. All right, so the woman, according to the to the order of heaven, according to the order of, of, of who the world only calls God, um, the woman is not to, to be in a position of leadership. All right. The woman is to is to uh, support her man, be a helpmate. All right. Um and, and it's just as simple as that. Matter of fact, I believe that if we go back to Proverbs, I believe 8 and 31. It said it delights, the Lord is, you know, delighted to dwell with man, I believe it's. Yeah, rejoicing in the uh, habitable uh, parts of the earth and my delights were with the sons of men. So the Lord, you know, when you go back up to ver verse uh, uh for unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. So, men are are in the uh, uh, first of all, they're the they're the stronger vessel. All right, the woman is the weaker vessel, and second, the woman is not meant to lead. That's this new age uh, feminist demasculation of the man, you know, um, and the reason of this toxic femininity. All right, as simple as that. Women, women, in no time in history stood at the gates to defend the, the, the gates of the city against the uh, uh, marauders, against the opposing armies, all right? The women were uh, hidden or protected, all right? Only time, you know, women, if a woman was uh, on a battlefield, you know, that that's something that you see modern day. But the women weren't in armies in Rome and in Greece and, little, you know, and none of those places, man. All right, and it, 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 yeah, and then it, why would you want a woman on a battlefield? You know, that just, you know, this whole myth, or 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 uh, uh you know, of, of a shield maiden. 
You know, you can't, you're not going to win many battles with, with shield maidens. You're going to win battles with men. All right. Um, this is uh, Ezekiel. Because that's, the Bible is the most accurate history book ever written. And there were no battles won in the Bible by the Israelites or any heathen army or any w with women. All right. Not not physically fighting. You know, women can be used to uh, to manipulate leaders and stuff like that. But uh, as far as them physically, uh, you know, taking the city, defending the city, this it's not going to happen. This is a. Uh, Ezekiel 34 and 31, and it reads, And ye, my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men, and I am your power, saith the Lord God. All right? So once again, according to the, to the scriptures, uh, the Lord is, uh, uh, is dealing with men. All right? And um, as far as the comparison to to uh, of, of the uh, Eternals to the Israelites, well, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians. One of my favorite chapters is the 15th chapter, 1 Corinthians, the whole thing. But let's, we're going to start at, uh, so I know I did a lesson where I was went into the, the beginning of it. So now we're going to go into the, to the latter part of it. But this is 1 Corinthians 15 and 40. And it reads, there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of terrestrial is another. All right. And there is one in, in the extraterrestrial. All right. Um, and there there is one. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For one star is different from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in the corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. See, so it's it, we're all going to be changed from this corruptible flesh. Like it says in Psalms uh, 82, ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. The Israelites among the elect who are going to be your eternals, your your judges of the earth, which is uh, the judges of the whole universe, which is basically what these guys were a representation of, um, are going to be made immortals, all right? Um, and, inc and incorrupted. There's not going to be any corruption in them. Um, it said it is sown in dishonor and it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness and is raised in power. All right. It is sown in a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. All right. So and, and that spirituality first is coming. We've got a portion of that already with the understanding and the belief in the scriptures and the faith. All right. That's, a, you know, understanding these mysteries. You know, and being and be, being taught these mysteries and being able to understand them. That's a bit of spiritual power within itself, because other people. I've been reading this book for hundreds and hundreds of years, but yet they don't they didn't they don't get the understanding out of it. All right. Um, it is also written the first man Adam was was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first is spiritual, but it was but which is natural and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man of the earth, earthy, the second man is the Lord from heaven. You see that? As is earthy, such are they also that are earthy. As is heavenly, such are also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. So when, when it talks about the the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven, man, when we come down off those chariots after, you know, the, those of us who, who, who make it through this, this, uh, upcoming destruction, Yahweh I'm one of them that the, the men who do this work do all a part of that. Um, when we come down, we're going to come down incorruptible. All right. Mighty. 
It says, And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. 